Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com. I want to thank Mr. Jim217 for drawing my attention to a Marine that is in distress. Um, Blaine Cooper has covered this. I will leave a link to his video below. Like I said, this is extremely important that we get this information out to the people. This is a alert that the FBI and the U.S. Marshals kidnapped a U.S. Marine. I'm going to play this video for you. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? Blaine Cooper. I got some breaking news. We have a Marine in distress. I repeat, a Marine in distress. Skyler, who is a good friend of ours in the Patriot Movement, has been arrested and kidnapped by the FBI and the U.S. Marshal's office. Uh, the way I understand it, he got a text from a friend. He went to go meet his friend and was surrounded by 21 FBI agents and was kidnapped and is being held against his will. And this is all over an unregistered firearm, if you can believe this shit. Um, I guess there was some discrepancy about the barrel length too, but really there's a, he's done nothing wrong. He hasn't hurt anybody. Um, he served the country honorably as an honorable discharge to the Marine Corps. He's a great guy in the Patriot Movement. We call him call him Beefcake. Uh, he's just he's a tender, loving, just a, he's a teddy bear. And um, so the fact that the the FBI has wasted these resources to attack an American citizen and enslave him over some BS is just beyond us. We don't even it just doesn't make any sense, especially when we got five Islamic terrorists that came from the Phoenix Mosque down here. Nobody's watching that. They raided an elderly woman's home that he knew too um, that was connected to this um, and they were looking for explosives or something like that. You know how the FBI is. They're always trying to trump it up and make it worse than what it really is. They found nothing. I don't even think Skyler had his firearm on him uh, when this took place. So it's very weird what's going on. He's been targeted I think because of his political views. Who knows. But. Um, so we had somebody go to the court today to try to get video. I'll let that video play out. They did not allow the video in there, and they arrested him for even trying to videotape it. So some weird things are going on right now. Um, but a message to the U.S. Marshal Office and the FBI, we will stand for our Marine brother, Skyler. We will not allow you to enslave him, and we will do whatever, and I mean whatever it takes, to help our brother get out of there. So. You guys, we need your help. We need you to share this video to get this information out so we can get more accurate and detailed information. Um, he's already had his or he's already had his arraignment, from what I understand, and now he's just waiting to fight his case. Um, but, but again, for a unregistered firearm, um, and I guess he has an 80% lower on it. And from what I understand, it's illegal to register it when you have an 80% lower um, from what the people have been telling me. But don't quote me on that. I don't know the law. Um, but shall not be infringed. The government, you don't need to know what I have in my house. You can piss off. And um, the FBI can kiss my ass, and so can the U.S. Marshal's office. Um, Skyler needs our help. And um, I'll put the information in the description of everything I got so far. And um, anyway, we can use your help and support and prayers for our Marine brother, Skyler. Great guy tragic event. This is Blaine Cooper. Oh, I should let you know too, the feds threw like 21 flashbangs into this lady's house where they found nothing. Another epic waste of taxpayer money for a useless agency, government agency, that does nothing to help the American people but to enslave them and further the agenda of the Obama administration. This is Blaine Cooper. I'm out. Are you, are you, are you a state employee? Okay, then I want your name and business card. Okay. I'm not saying I'm not Identify yourself. I'm not reporting. Identify yourself. Okay, That's what I asked for the first time. You don't have any amount. Otherwise, I'm going to leave my name. I'm going to leave my name. I'm going to turn your ID. You're not touching my ID. Okay, then show me who you are. You're hassling me. I've done nothing wrong. I'm in complete compliance with the court's rulings right here. Complete compliance. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Okay, then show me your ID. You're not touching my 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 ID. You're not
yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I identified when I walked in the court, sir. I said, you might need to see me. not court. It says right here. To take notes. I wasn't recording. And that's all I want to make sure. I just want to make sure you just take notes. I told them I wasn't recording. I said, I'm following the rules of the court. I told you that already. Okay, great. So what is your name? I just want to verify that you're recording. You can switch your screen as soon as this is Great. So can you verify? What is your name? I'll give you my name. Great. Give me your name, Michael. Michael. And you work for who? U.S. Marshals. U.S. Marshals. And for you guys? We're not free to go. I need to verify the important. That's against the court. Excellent. Am I free to go, sir? No, what's the need? Do you have education? I need your education. You suspect me of committing a crime? I don't suspect you of committing a crime. Why do you suspect me of committing a crime? I'm following the court order. I advise you I'm following the court order. Everything I've done is within the parties of the court order. Why do you suspect me of committing a crime? I'm not the only one in the courthouse. Why do you suspect me of committing a crime? Okay, so as we can see, this U.S. Marshal refused to identify himself, and then when he did, he only gave his first name. How many Michaels work for the U.S. Marshals? Uh, secondly, it is not against the law. It doesn't matter if it's a federal court or not. The Supreme Court has already ruled it is not unlawful to record. That is not illegal in the first place. Did he suspect him of committing a crime? The only thing he could come up with was that he was recording, which apparently they're not up on the Supreme Court laws because it is not against the law to record. And they can actually not force you not to record in, in order for you to have accurate notes for the case against you. This U.S. Marine needs our help. We need to raise our voices. We need to be calling and finding out where he's at. Is he okay? We need to find out why they have kidnapped him pretty much, I would say, under NDAA. Now, I'm going to give you one of the reasons Blaine Cooper said it's unlawful. And the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. That is very, very true. But I also want to make something clear that is really bothering me because these U.S. Marshals are enforcing these ATF rules, if you will, in reference to the length of the barrel. Now, aside from the fact that the ATF sold weapons to the Sonola drug cartel, those guns were, it was over 1,500 guns. Those guns were linked to over 200 deaths in the country of Mexico and at least linked to uh, a couple here within the borders of the United States of America, probably many more. That would have been through Operation Fast and Furious as well as Operation Gun Runner. They didn't track those weapons. Now I would also like to say that the ATF is an unlawful agency in the first place. The federal government was never given any authority to regulate our firearms. They have used tricks and coercion to fool the people into thinking it is a privilege when it is a right. You are born with that right to be able to protect your family, your home, and against a tyrannical government. Now, with the ATF, they are actually hired by the federal government. And I'm going to show you why I say that they are unlawfully acting outside of their jurisdiction. So if you'll work with me for a moment, we're going to switch to a couple of pages and I'm going to pull up some laws to prove to you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so right now we're at Article 1, Section 8 of the United States Constitution. I'm going to go over it quickly and then I am going to back up my statements with 4 U.S. Code 72 if you want to go ahead and try to Google search that you can. Otherwise, I will leave links to everything I'm discussing in this 
in the box below the YouTube. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises to pay the debts and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. But all duties, imposts, and excises shall be uniform throughout the United States to borrow money on the credit of the United States, to regulate commerce with foreign nations and among the several states and with Indian tribes, to establish a uniform rule of naturalization and uniform laws to subject on the subject of bankruptcies throughout the United States, to coin money, regulate the value thereof, and a foreign coin and fix the standard of weights and measures, to provide for the punishment of counterfeiting the securities and current coin of the United States, to establish post offices and post roads, to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries to constitute tribunals inferior to the Supreme Court, to define and punish piracies and felonies committed on high seas and offenses against the law of nations, to declare war, grant letters of marquee and reprisal, and make rules concerning captures on land and water, to raise and support armies, but no appropriation of money to that use shall be for a longer term than two years, to provide and maintain a navy, to make rules for the government and regulation of the land and naval forces, to provide for the calling forth of the militia, to execute the laws of the Union, suppress insurrections, and repel invasions, to provide for organizing, arming, and disciplining the militia, and for governing such part of them as may be employed in the service of the United States, reserving to the states respectively the appointment of the officers and the authority of training the militia according to the discipline prescribed by Congress to exercise exclusive legislation in all cases whatsoever over such district not exceeding 10 miles square, as may by secession of particular states and acceptance of Congress become the seat of the government of the United States and to exercise like authority over all places purchased by the consent of the legislature of the state in which the same shall be for the erection of forts, magazines, arsenals, dockyards, and other needful buildings, and to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers, and all other powers vested by this Constitution in the government of the United States, or in any department or officer thereof. Clause 17, as you can see, to exercise exclusive legislation in all cases whatsoever over such district, what district? Not exceeding 10 miles square. That is Washington, D.C. That is the District of Columbia. The legislation which, <clears throat> the legislation in which the United States government puts out there is for the United States, which is a corporation. It is not to exceed 10 miles square, other than if it is for the erection of forts, magazines, arsenals, dockyards, and other needful buildings. They have no authority to establish the ATF and enforce that in anywhere outside of their 10 miles square. And let me show you the proof of that. I am now on Law Cornell website, okay, and this is of course for U.S. Code 72 public offices at the seat of government. ATF is at the seat of the U.S. government. All offices, that would be ATF as well, attached to the seat of government shall be exercised in the District of Columbia and not elsewhere 
except as otherwise expressly provided by law. In other words, even though they try to claim that they are doing it expressly provided by law because it's been allowed by the states and other places for the ATF to run muck all over the states and to do their unlawful actions and to sell their guns to criminals, yet they want to attack a U.S. Marine because of an alleged gun barrel. We have the Obama administration arming ISIS terrorists, funding them, training them, and they're going to go after a faithful Marine because more than likely political reasons. So as you can see, this U.S. Code backs up Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17. They must stay within their 10 miles square unless it is for forts and arsenals. Why? Because that was to be established for the simple reason of defense of our nation, not for them to continue to try to attack our people. It is tyrannical, it is unconstitutional, and it is even against their own U.S. Code. So now that we know they're not supposed to be outside of their 10 miles square or outside the District of Columbia or Washington, D.C., if you will, I'm pulling up 18 U.S. Code 241. This is a conspiracy against rights. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district in the free exercise or enjoyment of any right did you hear that of any right this man has a second amendment right and it's not to be dictated by government or privilege secured to him by the Constitution or laws of the United States or because of his having ex so exercised the same or if two or more persons go in disguise on the highway, isn't that what U.S. Marshals are doing? Or at least this one? Or on the premise of another with the intent to prevent or hinder his free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege so secured, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. And if death results from these acts committed in violation of this section, or if such acts include kidnapping, kidnapping is when they have arrested him. It is the same. They guarantee you they're using the NDAA in order to be able to do this. And right here is supposed to protect against that, as well as the United States Constitution. So, if such acts include kidnapping or an attempt to kidnap, aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to commit aggravated sexual abuse or an attempt to kill, they shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any term of years or for life or both or may be sentenced to death. So what I'm pulling up here is I want everybody to please make sure you stand up for our United States Marine. Let's get this information out there. He has stood for us. He has fought for us and our country and did so selflessly. We must stand for each other. You know, there's an old saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Help me please get the word out about the Marine. I will leave a link for everything I have discussed and shown to you in the YouTube below as well as uh, Mr. Blaine Cooper's video. Thank you. Have a great night. Semper Fidelis. And until next time, God bless you.